Well, relative to his profile, Mavsar Iavoyev may be the best fighter in the world that you've never heard of. Thankfully, you're playing with him here tonight. This is one of the best featherweights, if not pound for pound fighters in the world. And if I was to have to compete in an MMA round, this is the last guy I would want to be in there with. Absolutely suffocating. One of the best cardiovascular bases in the game. Outstanding grappling and wrestling. The emerging striking as well. And even when he was tested against Diego Lopez at UFC 288, Yavloyev still was able to rise to the occasion. Outstanding submission defense. Hard championship medal. DC, I could go on, but the fight's almost the pots. So here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Topuria. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at Team Over the Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mazar and Boya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon right. tonight. Good. All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Topuria, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, the opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Oh, yeah. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Finish. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Arms in deep. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Great submission defense on display tonight. Yep, gotta be very careful there. 
Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, big elbow. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. He's got to start throwing down. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Standing over his opponent here. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He's got it locked in. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Topuria. All right, take a seat, bud. Deep breath for me. Okay, listen. I can't have you laying on your back this round and letting him punch you. I need you to stay here. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready? You ready? Go. Second round here. with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. All right, I've got a novel idea. When you've got a submission base like this guy does and good offensive takedowns, I don't know, maybe grab a little bit? Maybe try to get a takedown. Maybe try to get the fight to the floor. Maybe make this guy fight you where you're the best in the entire UFC at. Get this fight to the mat where you're bound to be successful. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, he's hurt bad. Beautiful defensive skills on this play. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. Well, hard to imagine we would get this late in the fight and have the BJJ practitioner not attempt a single takedown. What gives? I have no idea. He's not even tried to get this fight to the ground. I don't know what's happening. Or maybe something happened earlier in the fight that's deterred him from fighting the fight that we have come to expect from this guy. It is, it is, I mean, I cannot believe what we are watching. The single leg takedown. Oh, big elbow. Topodi is in half guard. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, set up an unlock now. Oh, that's tight. Submission defense. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. There it is. Now he's running up. He's got to be careful. Here. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Going for an arm bar now. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Takes his back now. Look at that. Recognize who's about to lose position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Great job finding his shots from the top position. And how much more can he take? 
great submission defense. Oh. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Refocus. Let's get our mind right. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Back up. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the front. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take... Another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. The Avoya gets caught with that punch. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Nice. Nicely done. Now some separation. So Pudi is doing a nice job there, Race. He's going to get team. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but submission defense wins this transition. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Lands a big elbow there. In the half guard. That's a lot of blood, man. I think I can smell the deep positive blood type from here. Yeah, he's bleeding quite a bit right now, and the blood's going into the eye. He needed to address this early. Now he's about to have to go into survival mode. Topoli is right back to the full mount. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh, nice elbow. Nice positional control here. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling machine. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Yavoyev's yeah, got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. there. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Beautiful technique on the straight right here. Single. Great defense. Oh, All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Wow, what a performance in that round. I'm no judge. I'm not sure a 10 8's even enough. Total dominance and nearly got the finish. Total dominance. Almost got the finish. Was able to hurt his opponent on multiple occasions. Didn't put him down now. He just hurt him. But maybe, just maybe, he will find a shot that will put him down once and for all. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th round? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Nice jab there by Topuria.
scuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, huge right hand! Takedown defense holds up. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Under three minutes to go in round four. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a combined. That punch no good. Patented front kick there by Ilya Topuri. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body. Oh, 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 he can't even stand. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. So far, a frantic pace as expected. And now some separation. That takedown was time beautifully. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, another strike lands from the top. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got to shore up the defense because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, horn sounds for the end of round four. Hey, stop. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. It got checked. That takedown attempt without issue. All right, now a little separation between the two fighters. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and not always a cut. But there's nothing to worry about too much now. He's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Boy, against the double leg takedown. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice. This is a terrible position. And now he's got the back. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, you know? We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. 
Mikhoyev's in half court. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Nice transition. Yavoyev's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. That's it. That's the end of the fight. It's got to be. It's work. Come on, let's stand up. It's work. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Yavoyev going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but and new UFC champion of the world you're looking at. Yeah, he's the new champ. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his waist. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 50 45, and 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. So an absolutely incredible result here tonight. We are still digesting it right now. There he is, the new UFC featherweight champion of the world. He said all the right things during fight week about DC.